concentrate. <laughs> Recording. Surfboard selection is very important. Let's first talk about the boogie board. The boogie board is made out of a soft material on top, very hard slick material on, the, material on the bottom, so it slides through the water. On top, the boogie board has a leash, and the leash goes tied to your hand or your bicep, so the board stays with you at all times. In addition, the boogie board also uses fins, and the fins are very important so you can actually catch waves and you can actually have directional control. The fins help you with that. Now let's talk about shortboards. Okay, the shortboard is more suitable for advanced surfers only. The shortboard is very thin, it's not as wide, has a pointy nose, okay, and usually has three, maybe four fins is the preferred configuration. The shortboard is made out of foam and fiberglass, or epoxy, or tough light materials, and it's more suitable for high performance surfing. Now, we're going to talk a little, bit about, a little bit about the soft foam boards, and this is a preferred alternative for surfing schools. It's a bigger board, it's a little thicker board, it's a little wider, and it's more suitable for learning how to surf, because it's a very stable board. In this board, you can learn how to catch waves, you can learn how to set, uh, surf very safely, okay, because it's very nice and friendly. Finally, we have a long board, a typical long board between 9.5 to 10 feet, and this type of board will actually sustain a person about 200, 210 pounds, and this is also a preferred alternative to learn how to surf, or actually just to cruise on some waves. And that's pretty much it for surfboards.